Hey guys, welcome back to the Guava Plus channel. Today, we're just really quickly going over some of these upcoming changes coming to Dead by Daylight. Uh, if you guys don't know what Dead by Daylight is, it is a 4v1 bully squad versus a killer who can't actually do their job. Um, it's a really fun game. You guys should check it out if you guys haven't already. But yeah, there is a live updates roadmap I just really quickly want to check out as someone who is not very well knowledge about the game, even after having thousands and thousands of hours in the game. Um, because I just sit there and look pretty um, for the killer. But um, we're just going to quickly go through this just uh, just because, you know, want to see like everything that's coming to the game, uh, get a little feel for it. And I am trying to get into gaming again and make some more videos on my main channel, Tasty Guava. Um, let's quickly go through this. So for January through March, quality of life and gameplay, we're finally getting an FOV slider. Uh, that is awesome. I don't know how this hasn't been in the game already. Um, but yeah, no, th this... Uh, it's it's quite odd to me like how many things have not been in the game like the settings panel in the game now is a lot more in uh intense is not the right word um it includes a lot more options and you know the game looks a lot better it's a lot sharper it's a lot more optimized i'm surprised you know I, honestly I'm, I'm honestly surprised we don't have dlss uh we don't have nvidia reflex for improved latency i know it's not cool technically like according to them a, a competitive game but it is a competitive game um i'm surprised we don't have like any of amd solutions built in um all that should be in the game you know for being such a large skill game uh we are getting some killer updates for the onrio for the hillbilly and the blights add-ons um the hillbilly i feel like they just touch him all the time and I'm, I'm not sure like again like i'm not the most you know uh knowledge when it comes to dead by daylight sometimes i am uh i haven't really been looking into the game for a long time ever since they updated the game with sbmm i just kind of quit after that i just think the old ranking system was better and i just liked having red rank <laughs> without having to be reset to the very best I, I don't know if that's changed back or not um again i really don't uh look at it too much but honestly quality of life and gameplay they should definitely update with some nvidia reflex for pc players nvidia dlss um amd's other solutions as well like build that all in intels and whatever else um a lot of optimization would be really awesome and you know they could add some more live weather in the game depending on the map and during events you know it could be snowing all of a sudden all the maps would be really sick uh, i don't know if that's a licensing dispute type of thing though that might cause an issue um and also uh they could also do some more graphical you know they could also add some ray tracing to the game you know that's a really big hitter you know to like put out oh we have ray tracing in the game now i think that'd be awesome um and you know uh lumen support which is like uh not exactly nvidia's ray tracing like you don't need an nvidia graphics card for it to run well i think that's like based off the direct x engine um like directx 12 or something and it works a good on amd as well uh with the lumen it's really good ray tracing really good graphics um but yeah on rio uh as far as i understand with her current situation she's not really heavily played the players who do play her are pretty good at her but it's a really small group of people who play her um because her build is a little different i'm not sure if she really needs an update at the moment um I'm sure she does because obviously it's on their list. Uh, the hillbilly always gets touched. Um, I don't know what his current stat is. I just know, you know, they did that one really big update to him. His playstyle definitely changed. We're seeing uh, a lot of differences with how players are uh, playing with the hillbilly. Um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see. We'll see how Mr. Chainsaw Man, Rocket Man goes. Uh, goes after this uh this update that they're gonna be working on the blice add-ons can't really talk about that i really don't know uh yeah we're also getting some perk updates save the best for last grim embrace quick gambit shadowborn and monster abuse i am very interested in what they're gonna be doing with shadowborn and monster and abuse updates to statuses mingled yes killer tweaks the hag bro <laughs> it's so funny because if you're just starting off or you just play in general like you know hag is like whatever when you play against a good hag Jesus fucking Christ, bro. It is insane. Insane. It is crazy, bro. Like, holy cow. Um, the pig, I would have never thought to see the day that the pig would be getting an update. My god. You know who needs an update? Freddy. He's so boring to play against. <laughs> uh Hunter's getting another update. You know, honestly, bring back iridescent heads. You know, I don't mind getting one hatcheted down. <laughs> Demogorgon already. You know, they just brought Demo Demogorgon back and he's already getting a killer tweak. Awesome. Uh the doctor and the clown. I can I would be happy if I'd ever face against a doctor again because for some reason 
it lags out my game. It causes people to DC, like network excited DC. Like it's not even like me DCing anymore. It's just like I get kicked out of the match every single time I play a doctor. It's so laggy. Um, they're also getting an update for Sloppy Butcher. April through June, we're getting quality of life update and gameplay updates for blood web improvements. This is something I want to talk about really quickly, but I really think they should add an option to pick how many um how many blood uh, web levels you want to go through so if you want to go through level one level two level three like let's say i want to skip 10 levels just add an option for that so it's like in five seconds we can go through because although the new one is great like you know it it, it picks like a great path for you i think what we really more want the community is to be able to not have to grind and like spend hours going through blood webs because you still have to do that you have to click and click and hold down and click and hold down um because what if i just wanted prestige like let's just say i have enough blood points of like millions blood points i just want to prestige the next one Add that as an option. That'd be awesome. Uh, perk updates. Ultimate weapon and DS is getting updated. That's something I didn't expect. You know, ever since they nerfed DS, I've been so... I just don't use it. I touch... I tap a gen first. I don't... I don't... I don't I, they might have changed it. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, I do see some, like, uh, very common perks here that are, that are getting touched, though. Shadowborn, Monster and Abuse, Sloppy Butcher, and DS. And we are also getting an update for the twins. Um... I, I think, honestly, the best update we can do is remove the twins from the game because I just don't like the twins. Genuinely boring-ass killer to go against and just boring gameplay. I'm so glad she can't put her little shit on the freaking gate exit anymore because that was the worst thing in the world. I just don't like the twins. If, if, if I'm being honest, like, from my own perspective, what killers are super boring to go against, it's going to be the twins, Dr., Freddy, and for a while I hated Wesker because everyone was playing Wesker and they had all the same really shitty play style and it was super boring and unfun, but it's fine now. I don't mind. Um, I was being super annoying about it with my friends, but I, I really don't care anymore. I'm, I'm fine with playing any, uh, against anyone now. Um, but yeah, that, that, that's just a really quick roundup of Tasty Guava's take on this upcoming live update. It all see sounds like great stuff. Um... I don't know. I'm pretty sure Ots is probably going to drop like a two hour long video about how this is awful and we need to just scrap this all. But yeah, uh, FOV slider. I think they should add some more stuff like I spoke, like all the performance stuff, the latency technology. Bake it all into the game, you know? It's a very big game. You want it to be super uh, clean and, you know, like well rounded and um, you don't want it to be a performance hog, which it still kind of is for what it is. Um, oh, and also, I know this doesn't. A content uh you know uh, content roadmap because uh, we already have those but what i would like to see i'm so sorry for yawning <laughs> uh, just have to get used to me i don't know why i have really bad with my energy levels and stuff even with me going out making sure i'm eating the good food and going to the gym and everything my energy is still out of the place sometimes um one thing I do would love to see is bringing in maps for killers that didn't get maps, like original concept. But like, you know, uh, what's the K-pop boy's name? What is his name? I'm sure I remember. Actually, let's go to the DLC page right now because this is this is embarrassing. Let's go to DLC. Let's go to let's go to the very all kill. Yes. What is his name? Because I literally can't remember right now. Um. What's his name? Trickster. Okay. <laughs> that is embarrassing. I even know you need a 64-bit computer for this. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, Trickster, uh, I do think he could have, like, gotten a really cool-looking map. And that's the same with, like, a lot of things. Like, there's so much content we could have gotten. Um, let's see. Uh, Descend Beyond, we didn't get a map. I think we could have got a map for it. You know, cover it with, um, the Blighted Effect. Uh, Binding of Kin, um, you know, with the backstory, just build a map around uh, those characters. Um, Hellraiser, I don't think we got a map either, but I don't think there's any, like, map-specific, like, elements to him. Like, there are some scenes and stuff, but I, I don't know if any of those would make a great map. Hour of the, new, of the Witch chapter, I think this just came with, like, a reworked map. I think this came out with the first daylight map. Can we please remove daylight maps from the game? It is so stupid. It makes no sense. I don't. You can argue with me all you want. It makes no sense. But yeah, Hour of the Witch. Uh, I don't think we got a uh, map for uh, Sadoko. I, I think that's how you say her name. The Ring. Um, 
but yeah, don't think we got a map for that, but I don't think there's any map specific uh, that, that we could do for that. Roots of the Dread brought one of the best maps. Like, honestly, honestly, God, it reminds me of Left 4 Dead. I love it. Um, Forge of the Fog. I hate playing on this map. Tools of Torment. Cool map, I guess. Uh, terrible chapter. Uh, and Transmission, we also got a map. Nicholas Cage, obviously we didn't. Alien, we did get a map, I think. Yeah, we did. Um, at Chucky, we didn't get a map. So there are, there's some few uh spots like just even like i'm not even going through everything but there's some few spots where we can bring some maps and stuff which would be really awesome and uh maybe we could get a, a where is it stranger things like like a second chapter and third chapter where we can have all the kids like the whole gang and it could just be like oh no mike and l or no 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 it'll be um will and l since they're like the only ones that like kind of make sense to have like with powers and you could add so many like legendary skins of so many characters from the movie it'd be so awesome and they can do another one uh for the um what's what's his name hopper and the mother of will uh you know they could they could add so much stuff i got two new chapters with so many maps and things like that i think it'd be awesome because you know certain things came out f uh four years ago next year it'll be five so yeah that's uh that's my take on the the whole um the things that they're working on and what other stuff i think would be awesome for the game but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video uh comment you know your opinions and like let me know like what you guys think and what your your expertise because i'm very dumb when it comes to this game uh drop a like if you enjoyed just like if you didn't everything as always is at tastygava.com and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye bye